I want to share a quick way how you can cook crab legs inside your slow cooker. You would think it would be mushy, right? Not even close because the shell protects the meat and slow cooking allows all those yummy flavors to be absorbed for the best tasting crab legs. Let me show you how. Use any pre-cooked crab legs. If frozen, let it thaw under cold water or overnight in the fridge. And I'm also using fresh shrimp that has been deveined and cleaned. I've prepped all of my ingredients that I will be using for this recipe to save time. I'll be using sweet corn, the mini ears, one whole onion cut in half, red potatoes, kielbasa sausage, or andouille sausage, and one orange. The spices that are going inside is one crab oil bag, Old Bay garlic and herb seasonings, slap your mama seasonings, and concentrated shrimp and crab oil along with a few bay leaves and regular Old Bay. Start with about 10 cups of water. Mine is about eight quarts, but you, you wanna cover everything you're adding, your potatoes, your corn, your onion, your sausage, and add your crab oil bag. It's loaded with seven spices and seasonings. That seasons up to four pounds of crawfish, shrimp, or even up to one dozen crab legs. This is Old Bay garlic and herb seasonings. You don't have to use it, but we love garlic. And for this amount of oil, I'm only using one tablespoon any more than that. We'll make it too salty, so be light-handed with it. I'm adding a pinch of Slap Your Mama. I have no idea where the Hubster got this, but it's delicious. And about a teaspoon of the concentrated shrimp and crab oil, along with a few bay leaves and one whole orange squeeze. And I gave everything a good stir and let it cook for about three to four hours on high or until heated. Before adding the shrimp and the crab legs, I removed the seasoning bag and the bay leaf. I then added fresh shrimp and the crab legs to the cooker and let it cook for about 15 minutes. Before serving, I topped the crabs with hot butter and some of the Old Bay seasonings. And talk about some good eating, you guys. The crabs weren't even mushy or overcooked. And what I loved most about this entire process, I didn't have to worry about keeping an eye on them. I hope you guys will give this a whirl. You'll be surprised. And I want to thank you all for watching.